Tension remains high in the Maldives where 50 people were detained over the weekend after clashes between pro-democracy protesters and the police. The protests come two months after President Gayoum allowed multi-party democracy in the country. But now the opposition wants the reform process to move faster. Well, the Maldives Foreign Minister Dr. Ahmad Shahid has told Asia Today that the country's democratic reforms were being implemented at a sensible pace. How much more do you want? Uh, just months ago, we didn't have a single party in the Maldives. Now we have four parties uh, which are allowed to operate, uh, you know, as in any democracy would allow them to. Now, in regard to elections, I think the core of elections is a very uninformed one. The Constitution says very clearly when elections can be held. Attempt to hold elections now would not only be unconstitutional, but also not give the public the meaning of democracy. Well, that was Ahmed Shahid. And let's speak now to Ahmed Musa, a member of parliament from the opposition Maldivian Democratic Party. He joins me now from our Glasgow studios. Uh, Mr. Musa, you heard what uh, the government has had to say. Do you accept their point that the reform process is moving at a sensible pace? First of all, um, uh, the country is in, in ruin just now. And um, this um, is dictator, Mr. Gayoum is um, unleashing his powers onto the people. He's committing a crime against our people. Young boys are being beaten and, and uh, pregnant women have been beaten. There is, there is no law and order in the Maldives. All he's doing is using his brutal force to control the population and the voice of dissent. The people of Maldives have had him for 27 years and you know in 27 days he comes with a party system and says this is it, this is the solution. That is not the point. We want to demonstrate peacefully to celebrate the, the, the people who did the demonstration last year on Black Friday, the 13th February. And I'm sure you have seen the pictures where, where this was a completely peaceful demonstration. And it's a constitutional right that we have to, to demonstrate. But and, if, and, we, and, if, yes. if we return to, to the best way forward from, from now on, now that we have the promise of multi-party the democracy the in the Maldives, would you not accept that that is the, the best, right way, the to, way to achieve yeah. your aims? I think it's, it's, it's about time that Gayum realizes that the, the vast majority of the Maldivian people do not want him to remain in power. There is no social justice in the country. He really has to resign now and give the reform process a chance. That is the only way forward. Can you not and acknowledge at all the progress that the government has made? In, in beginning and implementing the reform process. This is, this, is, this is just for him to get international support. That is what he's trying to do. It's taken him 25 years to, to review the justice system. It's taken him 25 years to, to even say anything about uh, political systems to be changed. This is not the way forward. Okay, Ahmad it's Musa. definitely not. Ahmad Musa, thanks for joining us. Thank you. For watching Asia Today, still to come, we'll bring you the rest of the Asian news, the business and the sport. That's all coming up after the break.